Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. I'd just like to say thanks for clicking on the video. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. Let me close this door here. And I've got this home for those of you that are looking to get started. This is a Palm Harbor home. This is part of their value lineup. Looks really good on the outside and uh, looks good on the inside. But this one's got a lot to offer, even for those that are uh, just getting started. Or if you're looking for something to set up as a rental or something like that, this would kind of be the perfect home for that. Like I said, this one is called the Value in Palm Harbor Home. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. I uh, forgot the square footage, so I'll have that across the bottom there. But uh, let's come around, let's grab the other side. I can't really get to the back side. So, not a lot to show on this side. So, so we got, I don't know of a song that would go with that one, but hey, if it's not up yet, you even got me singing in one of the videos. <laughs> So let's go ahead and head on in and we'll check this one out. Starting off in the living room here, we've got a really nice size uh, living room area. Nice ceiling fan. No recessed lights in your living room area. So you've got these two great big windows that let in a ton of light. Now as you can see, this is kind of the open floor plan. Looks really good in here. One thing about the floor plan on this one, so you've got one of your kids' rooms right here. Your master bedroom is on that side. So we're going to do the kids room that's right here to start with. Again, there's so much light coming into this home that I haven't turned on hardly any lights. <laughs> now I just finished up, it's Saturday and I just finished up at another dealer where uh, I had to go back and redo a couple of them because my light was malfunctioning. And I tell you what, it was really dark in one of them, <laughs> putting my light to the test. It was a really nice home, but they used a bunch of dark wood in there. And if you go into an area with dark wood and no lights, boy, it is tough for filming. So it's kind of nice to see, you know, this nice, bright, airy, open home. Really feels good, feels homey. Feels, feels kind of welcoming. Uh, 
I know we've kind of skipped all over the dining and the kitchen area, so we'll get that and then we'll flow into the master bedroom. Kind of doing it a little bit different. You gotta change it up a little bit. Can't do things the same all the time or otherwise it just gets monotonous. Looks like they're setting up for Thanksgiving. Now I filmed one of their homes the other day on Thursday, today being Saturday, and I noticed that, look at the vibrance of the colors that they use when they decorate this. I mean, they just kind of really just pop right off of there. Got to give credit to the uh, person that does the decorating of these homes. Here's your center island. Oh, you got my shoes. <laughs> Depending on the home, I take my shoes off when I come in. The ones with carpet, if it's dry out, I don't usually take my shoes off. But this one, boy, were they squeaking a lot. So I had to take them off. Otherwise, it'd be a, a lot of squeaking as I'm trying to talk. <laughs> So we've got a really nice kitchen and a nice stack of drawers there. Now I will say there's not a ton of cabinet space. Maybe you could option in a couple more cabinets in the island there. But we do have the stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. got some really nice flooring and then our utility room I'm not sure what you would put in that space there but uh, you might be able to get a small freezer in there or something of that nature or since you don't have a pantry put yourselves a bunch of shelves in there and that way you've got some storage for a pantry right next to your washer and dryer hookup. Come back around, back around town, and check out the size of this master bedroom. Now you do have your closet in the bathroom. Boy, that is an old prop laptop there. <laughs> Company called Turbo Props, and that's supposed to look like a laptop, but boy, I tell you what, they don't make them near that thick anymore. The only ones that you get that are thick like that are ones designed for gaming. You know, it's funny, doing all, as long as I've been doing this, I've never noticed the names of the props that they use. 
like the TVs and things like that, till I came here. And I don't know if they just didn't have names on them before, but we got a wave to Raiden since we didn't do it in the other one. But yeah, it's just kind of kind of funny that I noticed the names of all the props this time. Now, Flash, I expect to hear, start hearing the air conditioning coming on. Yep. Because, <laughs> you know, they don't have full power going to these homes. So when the AC kicks on, it uh, tends to dim the lights just a fraction of a second. It's a good thing we're almost done. Because I know you can hear the AC. Because this one in the bathroom is basically right behind the furnace. And I tell you what, you can hear it blow. But this one does have the vents in the floor. And with that, how about you vent your comments down below and let me know what did you think of the home? I really like it. I mean, especially for the price of it. You get a lot of home. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. That way you get notified when I upload videos. Share this home with your friends and family. Or whoever else you want to share it with. Post it on your own social media. Whatever works for you. And I will see you soon with some price information. Thanks for watching. All right, we are back. So now we got to get you some price information on the value 28563 by Palm Harbor Homes. So I filmed this one in June of 2023. They're in Oklahoma City at the Palm Harbor location. Now, as I said at the very beginning, there's been a price drop on this one. Yeah. So when I filmed it, you know, this one as shown, the price listed on it was a hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So when I was getting ready to edit this one and looking things up to get it, see if there's any pictures or anything like that I wanted to use versus what I took, I noticed the price has come down to hundred and fifteen thousand. Now that's not to say that everybody's going to be selling it for that because obviously there's city fees, county fees, things like that that could change the price of it. So that gives you a good kind of starting range it could be anywhere from 115 to 130 thousand dollars so overall you know for a good starter home you know 1500 square foot basically you know or if you wanted to like i said at the beginning of the video use it for a rental be a good rental property but with that said i hope you all enjoyed it and make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button turn on those notifications and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching Bye.